Alrighty folks, uh, I uh, got a little message here on the uh, uh, Ram Cummins here uh, on the dash and here's what it says replace fuel filters <laughs> so you can see my mileage there while we're at it uh, 19,300 some change there so uh, it's time to replace the fuel filters um, now I kind of figured the truck would make it to about 20,000 miles based on the way the fuel filter reminder percentage uh, that's over here in the menus was going um, but uh, I'll show you that here in a second um, my 08 6.7 that I had I replaced those approximately every 20,000 miles I saved those it had one filter housing that had the filter in filter so it was like two filters but it was all in one uh, filter housing I'll show you this one's got a filter and filter too I'll show you that here in a minute I do have the filters but um, anyway uh, so for this maintenance uh, I am at I'm right at 500 hours uh, on this I'll show you right here I've got idle hours at uh, 59 and drive hours at 439 so that's uh, uh, 498 hours if I'm figuring that right so right at 500 right at 500 hours and uh, going up here to show you the uh, fuel filter the uh, there's your fuel filter life so you see it is at 0% now. Um, uh, so that, uh, I guess, triggered the message that you can see the little envelope there at the top uh, between the S and the 77 degrees there is that message. So it's just telling you you have a message to look at, uh, which is the oil filter, I mean the fuel filters. I'm going to get that backwards today. <laughs> uh, uh, my oil, oil life is at 70 percent. Of course, that was done at 15. Uh, well, just a little bit before 15,000 miles, if I remember right. So uh, I should be good. I should be good to about uh, 30,000 miles for the next oil change. Um, and uh, it is again. I get four free oil changes, so I got three more left. I will not be carrying that back to Landers and Cardi. Uh, for the oil change um, because uh, they left such an oily mess on the truck when they changed the oil and I also found out from this the Coleman dealer that I went to for the exhaust leak repair and all uh, I'll be taking it to them for the next oil change for the free one um, I found out to keep from spilling oil uh, out of that oil filter when they take it off they actually have a plug on that oil filter housing there uh, where they can pull the oil out of that filter before they pull it off and turn it sideways to pull it out of that uh, passenger side fender well there so uh, they know what they're doing Landers McCarty don't so the truck will not be going back to Landers McCarty of course I've done made that clear already uh, and it will be going back to uh, Coleman Dodge Chrysler Ram Jeep. I believe this is what it's called. But anyway, uh, today is about the fuel filter. So I'm going to show you the fuel filters in a minute and a couple oil filters that I did order. And then uh, I'm actually going to let the truck cool down for a little while because uh, I have been running it. I've been, been looking at running around, driving around looking at bean fields. So uh, the exhaust system's hot and the motor's hot. So I've got a tire I'm going to change on a hay wagon. I'm going to let the truck cool down. And then I'm going to start the fuel filter change on this truck. Uh, because I will be working uh, near the exhaust system in the back. On the 
on the rear filter that's under the bed and then I'll be working up near the motor on the front on the main fuel filter or the filter and filter filter <laughs> say that time three times fast so anyway uh, so that's where my fuel filter change is falling at uh, 500 hours and approximately 19,300 miles uh, I don't know exactly how it figures that or how it calculates it uh, but uh, I would assume it's based off fuel usage somehow uh, and not quite mileage but I'm not for sure somebody out there probably knows uh, but anyway uh, I'll show you these filters here next alright folks uh, I'm uh, here at the tailgate of the truck I've got me a box here genuine parts Cummins uh, and uh, you can also see I've got a couple of floor mats here but uh, anyway these are these uh, fuel filters that I uh, ordered and a couple of filters here and uh, thought I'd just show these to you and explain uh, a couple of, of things about them here um, but uh, turn around here this this box did have some paper in it uh, now the oil filters uh, I had this one I've had this one in my supply cabinet for uh, a little while uh, from my previous uh, truck I had and this one I just ordered same they're the same number uh, they're Fleet Guard LF 16035 uh, I guess that's the Cummins number uh, 492 0070 same number here uh, but anyway these are the Stratopore filter this is not the standard oil filter uh, this is one step up from the standard oil filter I've always used a Stratopore oil filter uh, and I just went ahead and got one because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to take advantage of the free oil changes any longer after how messy the first ordeal was. But since this uh, other dealer in Coleman has been good to me and seems like they know what they're doing, uh, I may go ahead and, and try that second oil change with them, which they will put a standard oil filter on unless I decide to tell them to put one of these on. Uh, but I will have these uh, for when I start doing the oil changes myself. So there they are, uh, the Stratopore filters. Uh, again, they're a little bit better filtration filter. Uh, and don't hold me to this, but seems like I remember researching these filters way back when I had my first Cummins truck. I have run these on all five of the Cummins trucks that I've had. Um, that there was something to do with having better oil pressure with these filters. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember what I learned. Uh, it does seem like there is a check valve of some sort in these filters. Uh, and uh, that helps hold oil pressure or something in the filter. I don't know. Uh, and it also, something about how the filter strains... Uh, that keeps oil pressure up at lower RPMs like at an idle when the trucks say warmed up uh, on some of the other Cummins I had you would notice a uh, fluctuation in oil pressure from say driving down the road at speed and then coming to a stop at an idle uh, if I remember right these help with that fluctuation a little bit how that works I don't know and don't hold me 100% that I'm right on that, but it seems like there's something to do with that. But anyway, that's Stratopore filters. Um, and I also got this uh, oil, oil plug drain valve. So this, I put one of these on my 08 and I really liked it. Uh, and uh, it basically replaces your drain plug on your oil pan. Uh, engine drain valve part number F-104 for this year truck this is a 2015 
uh, 2500 uh, with 6.7 Cummins if anybody looks at that there are you can see that thread size is an 18 millimeter dash 1.5 so they do vary if you look one of these up but uh, this has got a little valve on it that uh, operates got a little spring got a little lock in it I can even push it up myself right now it's really stiff which should be but uh, it's got a spring in it comes up here and locks it's in the open position right now uh, but uh, this is a lot better than trying to pull that drain plug and three gallons of oil gushing out of that big drain plug at one time <laughs> any of those that's ever changed the oil one of these uh, know what I'm talking about and uh, I went to one of these and found it just a lot uh, better uh, you can get these with like a, a little uh, hose uh, spout on them where you can put a hose on it and run it out the side of the truck and various things uh, some of them come out straight some of them have a 90 degree bend etc so there's variations of these out there but uh, uh, this does go like I said up on the bottom of the oil pan you can get away with this on a four wheel drive I would be leery about putting one of these on a two wheel drive if you were say a farmer and uh, might be driving out in hay fields and off road a little bit because I would be worried about this little valve lever. It does come in here and lock, but I'd still be worried about it catching some grass or weeds or something, maybe getting pulled open. But on the full drive models, it's tucked up pretty high under there and it's up back behind the axle. So anything you drive over pretty much will be flattened over by that axle and will not reach that valve. So it's a little safer under there. Uh, so yeah, this video is mainly about the fuel filters. So I just wanted to uh, show you these. I've got two of them here. There is two fuel filters on this truck. There technically is. Uh, there technically is three fuel filters on this truck. But uh, this filter here is a filter in filter. There's two filters inside this filter. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, but we'll start with the fuel water separator that is now in the back of the trucks. Uh, you see my gooseneck ball there. That's about over the axle. Just in front of that, say between that ball and my toolbox, underneath the bed, somewhere in this vicinity right here, is a fuel filter under there uh, between the frame rails. It's up above the... Uh, drive shaft uh, between the drive shaft and the exhaust system a little bit under there. I'll crawl under there and show you that a little bit later. But that filter looks something to this effect. Uh, the stock filter is probably going to be black and it's probably going to be a Mopar. This company, Parker Raycor, makes the filter for Mopar. So this is the exact same filter. Why did I not get the Mopar filter? Well, this filter was about, oh, $5, $7 cheaper than the Mopar filter, and it's the exact same filter. It's got two O-rings up here. Uh, you've got the main seal, and you can see a little O-ring right there. Without me opening it up. There's a uh, water sensor and drain valve that screws into the bottom of this filter. You actually remove that from the old filter and keep it. So they give you a new seal to seal that off with. So that's the filter that's, uh, that's under there. Uh, it's a PFF 54529 uh, Parker Raycor fuel water separator. And the bottom part of this filter, I don't know if you can see in there, is actually a bowl. So that is your water bowl. So the filter don't start till... Uh, about right here where my thumb is so this bottom part here is the water bowl so that's that filter uh, there's view the top of the box and then this is the filter that's up at the engine I did get the Mopar filter on this there was a fleet guard option but this filter was a little over ten dollars cheaper and I don't know if you can see this on camera 
but look right there fleet guard cummins so it's the exact same filter so that's why i went with that one uh, and i'll show you in a minute where i ordered all this from uh, i actually had a catalog in here and i gave it to my uncle a few minutes ago for his truck but because uh, i already have some but you can see you got your uh, gasket in here uh, that goes uh, around the cap. So the, uh, the fill filter housing uh, for this filter has a cap up here. You screw it off, then you grab this filter and pull it out. So there's a gasket. Well, you can see it here in this little picture maybe. Uh, you got the, the cap, the O-ring, then the filter. And you got, there's the base down there. So I'm not going to open this up just yet. But this is a filter in filter and some of you might be wondering what i mean by that there's two stages of filter right here this outer portion of the filter you see is one stage and that's one filter if you can see down in here there's a, a blue bluish green tint and a gap in this black piece and you look down in there there's another filter so there's a filter in here inside of this external filter. So I call that a filter and filter. So you got two, two levels of filtration here at this filter and then you have this filter that's back under the bed. So one, two, three levels of filtration. So uh, again, this was the Mopar number. Uh, I was going to get the part number. I don't know. There's a MO-291. And there's also uh, a number here. 681572918AA. I don't remember which one's the right number. I'd say it's sitting up there. But uh, it says it's for 2013. Like I said, this is a 2015 truck. Uh, but it's 2013 up is what that boils down to so it came from this place uh gino's if i'm saying that right uh garage it's over in cumming georgia there's the web address ginosgarage.com if you've never been there please look them up uh they sent me a bag of popcorn <laughs> so that's interesting and they sent me a free cummins decal you can put on window i have put these on windows before i don't know if i'll put it on this one or not but uh, i'll let you guys tell me whether i should put it on there or not <laughs> uh but yeah i did have the catalog in here but it did come from uh gino's garage if i'm saying that right and uh cummings georgia so uh anyway uh yeah, so that's that. It's the oil filters, the drain plug, and I went ahead and got me some slush mats while I was at the dealer the other day. I've been, I wanted these in the truck uh, when I originally bought the truck, and I didn't get them. Uh, I had it worked in a deal on the first truck I was getting and that was the one that got bought out from under me before I got it, and uh, I didn't it didn't work out on this second deal I don't remember how but these are just the front ones I didn't get the back ones uh, this is actually a, this is driver this is passenger side uh, they were a little more pricey than I thought they should be for what they are they're not all that thick but it'll be better than getting mud all over those carpet mats so that said, uh, I will be installing these today uh, in the floor, and uh, they'll be a lot better than keeping up with uh, plastic stuff I've been putting down to keep from getting my carpet mats dirty. So, uh, anyway, that's the, uh, that's the fuel filters in a nutshell, and a little bit on the oil filters. Uh, like I said, uh, the oil filters, uh, the dealer told me that they have a way of sucking the oil out of that oil filter. And uh, I'm trying to find a good way to show it to you, but I've showed you all this before. 
there's the oil filter up in there sticking down and if you look look right down through there you can see the very top of the filter housing and there's a little nut I should say a nut there's a little bolt or a plug plug on the top of that they say they remove that plug and they've got a device that'll suck the oil out of there uh, so uh, that's what the first dealer did not do and spill oil all over my truck so uh, yeah so that's the uh, that's the filters in a nutshell and a few other items and next thing I'll do after this truck cools down a little bit so I can work on it is I'll actually be changing these two fill filters out so uh, uh, stay tuned for that part